All right, Elena, I got your clothes here. All right, Elena, is there anything else you need me to do? Get out of my room! I can't believe I drove all the way to Allentown for this. Yeah, Elena, you need me to do anything else for you? I'm going to get you, Toby, and Dan one day. You won't know when it's coming, but when it happens, it'll be the ultimate prank. Okay, um, well, I'm going to get going now and try to get out of this contract. Hey, Dan, is there anything to eat in this place? All right, Andrew, I'll be back in an hour. Where are you going? Nowhere. What's his problem? Peace and quiet. Hey, buddy. Joe? Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, my gosh. How are you? How are you? Oh, my gosh. I like your new place. Thanks. I'm moving out. So what have you been doing? Well, you know. Figured I haven't seen you guys in a while. Yeah, yeah I haven't in the seen neighborhood. You. And oh. I'm sorry I couldn't meet you guys at Pondios when I got out of jail. Yeah, I mean to ask you about that. What happened? Well, well you remember how I texted you that we couldn't make it? Yeah, Dan, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm texting you guys. Um we got arrested again. Oh god, what for? Texting and driving. I don't get why we're getting arrested for these things, but <laughs> that's why I couldn't contact you guys oh. while I was back in jail. Oh, okay. That, that explains a lot. Uh, that was rough. Me and Nick. Oh, man. Whatever happened to Nick? He's not, he's not here, is he? Oh, no, he's not stalking me. Oh, thank God. I paid him ten bucks and he just stopped. Really? Yeah. I don't if, only, if only you had done that three years ago. I know. It's, hey, well, well, I give him money for no reason, you know? Yeah. I had a reason. But I do, do have this. What? To reveal. Oh my god! Yeah. Why do you have his face tattooed on your chest? Well, this is back when he was stalking me, and you don't want to know. No, I don't want to know. Yeah. So, so, what's been going on with you, man? Well? And that's what's been going on. Wow. That, that is a lot of stuff, man. That is a yep. lot of stuff. Yeah, a lot's happened. By the way, I want to apologize. I'm sorry for letting the dog out and you running it over. It's funny. You didn't mean to. That was my fault. You didn't mean to. It's yeah. It's what happens when you're working with the neighbor you don't like. Yep. No more of that. Thank God. Andrew, have you seen Dan anywhere? Who are you? Oh, that's right. Uh, Toby, this is Joe. Joe, this is Toby. Oh, you're a Spider-Man! Sorry, I wasn't supposed to say that. It's all right. I've heard it enough times by now to be used to it. Now, where's Dad? You know what? I don't know where he is. I, he told me a couple hours ago he was leaving and then he was coming back. Some help you are. I never said I was trying to help. So, Joe, why are you here? Well, I mean, I'm an old friend of Andrew's and Dan's. I haven't seen him in a while, so I figured I'd stop by. Yeah, this is the guy I went to to get uh, very helpful advice from when I was working for, uh, you know, your uncle. 
Yeah, me and Nick would help with the mountain all. Yeah, Nick. I see. And who is Nick? He is this guy that I knew. And you, you don't, you don't I'll want give you some perspective. This no, is Joe, 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 don't show it! Oh! Goodness, that's an actual human being? Mm-hmm. I don't want to know. Nah, neither do I. Guys, I have some news, so listen up. Julianne has decided to move on, and I've decided to do the same. I've sold the house. The furniture is going to be sold in two days, and you two have to find somewhere else to live. No, 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 Dan, I need to live in this house. There is no way that I am not living in this house. Well, you can't live here anymore. I'm sorry. Nice to see you again, Joe. Good luck. Well, Andrew, guess I'm going to have to live with you now. <laughs> well, this was fun. Good luck with the move out thing. Toby? Joe? It was a pleasure meeting you, and don't let the Spider-Man thing get you down, you know? You have been, and always will be, a Spider-Man. And don't forget, with great power comes great responsibility. You know, I can get used to the Spider-Man thing. Come on, Dan, what's going on? Nothing. I've moved on, and maybe you should think about doing the same. What's that supposed to mean? It means find a place to live that's your own! Hey, don't yell at me! Toby's here too, you know! Oh, don't blame this on me! It's your fault I was homeless in the first place! You see? This is what I'm talking about. I can't take the fighting, the stupid shenanigans we get into every week, the breakups. I'm just done. Breakups? This is about Julianne, isn't it? Conversation's over, Andrew. Oh, no, it's not. You're only doing this because she broke your heart and you can't deal with it. Quiet, Andrew. So to get rid of the memories, you decide to sell the house. You want to know why I'm selling the house? Because I've had just about enough of you, Toby, the whole Mr. Draker's thing. I just want to live my life and quite frankly, you've been bringing me down since day one. Get out of my way, I got packing to do. And you two might want to do the same. Hello? Oh, hi, Elena. Hey, Toby, you got a minute? Sure, go ahead. You want to move out of Dan's place? I'm listening. My mom said you can move into our shore house for now. Seriously? Yeah, besides, I think it's good for you getting your own place. Well, that's fantastic. I'll move there within the next two days. Thanks, Elena. And tell your mom thanks, too. Bye. Andrew, I've got a place. Oh, and I don't want you living with me.